In this question, find suitable expression for the moment of inertia of a uniform ring of mass m and radius r about an axis that passes through the center of the ring and uh, makes an angle theta with the plane of the ring. So this is an axis uh, which is passing through the center of the ring and uh, this uh, axis is making an angle theta with the plane of the ring. So we have to find the moment of inertia about this axis for this ring. So let's proceed how to do this. So uh, I have taken a ring and this ring and this is our axis and uh, we have chosen some coordinate axis like this. So this is your x axis, y axis and this is z axis. z axis is perpendicular to the plane and this x and y axis are in this plane. So x and y axis this ring is in xy plane and I have chosen this axis rotation such that I have chosen axis system such that this axis, this axis of rotation is completely in zx plane so this uh, axis of rotation lies in zx plane so i have chosen my axis system like that okay so now we will take a, a small elemental mass on this ring like dm and uh, coordinates of uh, this uh, point or this elemental mass will be some x comma y and obviously this ring is in xy plane so uh, z coordinate is zero everywhere so position vector of that mass, position vector of that elemental mass dm will be simply xi cap plus phi j cap and now unit vector along this axis rotation. So unit vector along this axis rotation so you can simply see uh, if you got a uh, one magnitude vector unit vector. So that vector will have a component in this direction that will be a cos theta component and that will be a sin theta component along z axis. So it will be simply cos theta i cap plus sin theta k cap. Now for moment of inertia we need perpendicular distance of uh, all the masses from the axis and dm multiplied by this uh, r square r perpendicular square. So to find perpendicular distance uh, I am using mathematics uh, vector <coughs> so perpendicular distance of a point from a line so this is the point and let's say this is the line or axis or direction and d cap uh, this is our axis rotation direction. So from this point p I want to find the perpendicular distance this so, so this perpendicular distance from this diagram uh, I can write this perpendicular distance pm square and this can be written as this hypotenuse op square minus this om square op is simply this mod r square okay so this is simply mod r square and this om so you can uh, write this as r cos alpha and r cos alpha can be written as r dot this d cap so r dot d cap square so uh, mod r square is simply so you can see here this is x i k plus y j k so mod r is simply uh, root of x square plus y square so this is mod r square and r dot d k so you can take uh, the dot product of this two okay so dot product of r vector and d k vector so you will find this will be simply x cos theta so x cos theta is square okay so you will just club this two x square minus x square cos square theta this will be x square sin square theta plus y square Okay, so now let's proceed further. <coughs> so this is the same diagram and uh, from the definition of moment of inertia I can write the moment of inertia can be written as uh, dm and dm is uh, multiplied by distance square perpendicular distance square from the axis. So this is that perpendicular distance and we have already calculated the perpendicular distance this is equal to this one x square sin square theta plus y square. Uh, now what I am doing is uh, if we interchange x and y axis suppose we swap x and y axis i am taking this as x axis and let's say this is y axis so obviously this will not change the moment of inertia so if you swap the x and y axis it is not going to change the moment of inertia but it will change uh, x coordinate with y coordinate and y coordinate with x coordinate okay because i am swapping the co uh, coordinate axis so i can write moment of inertia again i and this is dm in place of x i will write y in place of y i will write uh, x okay so if you add this two, okay, if you add this two, you will get two y, and here it will be dm x square plus y square. You can uh, sine square theta can be common, so it will be x square plus y square sine square theta, and here y square plus x square. And uh, since this is a uh, circle, x square plus y square is equal to radius square. So x square plus y square is equal to radius square. Center is at the origin. So this is uh, the equation of circle. So for this uh, x square plus y square here and here you will replace uh, with r square so now 2i is simply uh, r obviously is this is constant 1 plus n square theta this is constant okay so this all is uh, taken out and this is integral dm integral dm is obviously the total mass so 
i can be written as this 2 will come here and i is mr square by 2 into 1 plus i square theta so this is one of the way to find the moment of inertia and you can just verify this answer with the standard answers if this axis is perpendicular to the plane so we know that this is mr square so then theta will be 90 degree in that case if theta is 90 degrees it is mr square and for a diametrical axis so for theta will be zero so theta is zero this is diametrical axis and it is mr square by 2 so this is the way and now let us see this question using some other methods so method number two so i am using the uh, expression of moment of inertia as we have calculated in this equation number one so i am again using this one so this is that and now i am splitting this into two terms uh, sin square theta can be taken out it is dmx square integral and it is dm y square integral and dmx square integral and dm y square integral if you can see this diagram from this diagram uh, distance uh, perpendicular distance from the x axis of uh, every element is y and perpendicular distance from y axis is equal to x okay so what is uh, integral dm y square this is basically moment of inertia about this x axis which is the diametrical axis so if this is a diametrical axis so this is a very well known result and this is mr square by 2 and similarly i y this is again diametrical axis and this is mr square by 2 so i can replace this two with the mr square by 2 and i can get the answer very easily so this is my method number two and in this method i am using the fact that we know this result okay so i am using this thing and this is a very popular and well known result so everybody uh, know about this result so let's go for the method number three in method number three i am not using any well known result okay so I am again using this expression and from this expression as sin square theta I am just uh, writing 1 minus cos square theta and what I am doing is uh, uh, x square here and y square here I can uh, club this two and cos square theta can be taken out and uh, x square dm uh, this is it dm x square so x square plus y square I can replace this with the r square so it will be simply dm r square and now I will be left with this one here it is simply mr square so i will left with this one dm x square obviously this is the diametrical axis no difference about the diametrical axis okay x axis is the diameter but i am not using that result i want to derive that you can find the diametrical axis moment of inertia using the perpendicular axis theorem also uh, i am not using that perpendicular axis theorem also here so now i want to use this uh, i want to calculate this thing dm x square so this is my dm and uh, this is the x axis okay and uh, x coordinate of uh, this mass is i can write r cos phi okay this is r and uh, this is uh, an element subtending angle uh, d phi at the center so dm mass of this element can be written as total mass divided by the total length over which the mass is uh, distributed and this is the length of uh, this uh, arc so this will be m 0.2 pi d phi and for dm i can uh, replace uh, this thing and for x here i can replace this thing and now i can integrate uh, for uh, limit 0 to 2 pi because i have to take all the masses so now if you can integrate this uh, so it will give you mr square by 2 this is obviously the moment of inertia about the diametrical axis which is the x axis so now i can put this here and again uh, i will find the same result mr square by 2 1 plus n square theta 